Good evening. Good Hello, good evening to everybody. Um, can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hey. hello, how are you? How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, that's good. It's good to know that. Um, as you know, uh, Tonight, we're going to uh, start with the video conference that corresponds for uh, this week, the week number four. And we are going to continue working uh, on the exercises on the topic that we're discussing in uh, the previous class. Um, that, if I remember, it is about the a, a present perfect. Okay. Uh, also, um, you have a homework. I don't know if you solved it, if you did it. Do you complete Good evening. Homework? Good evening, Mr. Saldana. Um, well, I was asking you if you complete the homework. Do you solve it? Yes, teacher. Yes. We complete the homework. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. So, um, we're going to start with the conversations. Um, that that's going to be the first one, the conversations, and then we're going to see the the, the rest of the um the exercises that we solved. Okay. I don't know if is there is here any team. Mr. Saldana. Excuse me, teacher. Let's not listen. Oh, okay, okay. Ms. Herrera. Hi, teacher. Um, I, I think we are ready with Fatima and Adriana. Yes, I'm ready. Fatima. Adriana, Fatima and Adriana. Adriana. Good evening. I'm here. Good evening, Miss. Um, Fatima and Adriana. I don't know if, if they are here. Adriana. Sí, está. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Can we so begin? You can start when you want. Okay. Bien. Adriana, Fatima, and Patricia are meeting in the airport. Each of one come of different places from Mexico City, and they are drinking a cup of coffee together. Uh, tell us, Fatima, how do you bring Mexico City long? Yay. It's visited Cancun, Puerto Vallarta, and the and what about you, Adriana? Good evening. Microphone. Good evening. Sorry, Good evening. sorry. Well, I'm going to show you a lot of photos and videos that I have took. I have been in one of the most important Acapulco's hotel 
on the Pacific coast. So I have enjoyed a lot this vacation. And you, Patricia? Uh, I took uh, a vacation too, and I've been to visit for 10 days at the Mayan ruins in the town of Tulum, which is notable for its cliff sites. And finally, I'm glad to have been in the ecological parks of Iscaret and Sherra. Wow, we really have an exciting vacation. And in the next summer, we shall go out together. I have seen many amazing places that we can visit. Of course. Of course, we can do it. We can do it. Okay, that's the conversation. So very good yeah. excellent you did amazing work uh, with the conversation very good okay and good use of thank you uh present perfect okay uh, i don't know if is there is someone else who wants to participate yes teacher mr saldana okay so go ahead who was working uh, with you um, Me? with miss patricia miss peñate Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello, Jimmy. How are you? Hi, Laura. I I find I'm fine. And you? I'm really fine too. Um, <clears throat> Jimmy, do you remember Claudia? Yes, I remember her. She was little in the United States. Oh, really? I have a long time to don't call her. Claudia has worked in a bank. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, Jimmy. Bye. See you later. See you later, Claudia. Thank you. Okay. Only that. Okay, very good. Excellent. You did amazing work with the conversation, Ms. Piñate and Mr. Saldana. Very good. Congratulations to you. Um, I don't know if there is someone else. Uh, I think that. Hey, teacher. You can see. Ah, okay. Go ahead, please. Who mm -hmm. was working with you? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Me, teacher. Okay. So go ahead, girls. Okay. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Hello, Williana. I'm great. And you? How are you? I'm fine. Have you ever eaten Chinese food? Yes, I have. I I ate yesterday. And you? No, I haven't. I never eaten it. Okay. It's all you. Teacher. That's all. <laughs> Only okay. that. Very yes. good. Excellent. 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 So, um, I think that well, congratulations to you girls. You did amazing work, and I would like to uh, know if there is someone else who wants to participate because I'm seeing that uh, or I think that everybody participate. I don't know if Miss Oh Miss Noemi. <clears throat> Ms. Ramirez and Ms. Perez, I don't know if you um if you have the activity. Yes, no. So please let me know. <clears throat> Okay, I, I can hear you, but I think. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> um, is the activity the Raida? The conversation. No. You 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 have it. Okay, know. you have it. No. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Um. Miss Rosa Maria, Miss Perez. I don't. Okay. You don't have it too. Uh, well, okay. Um, so we're going to see, um, we're going, I mean, we're going to go to the um, topic that we're discussing previously. That was the, <clears throat> sorry. 
the uh, present perfect. Uh, we, the last week, we start with section number five. And, the, the, well, the, the name of that uh, section <clears throat> we have, have you ever write any comment? That's the, um, the name of this section. Just give me a second, I'm trying to share my screen with you. <clears throat> well, um, here we have present perfect and um, the uses of it. And previously, we were discussing about how we can create uh, Hi, in this sentences um, using the interrogative form. Uh, we we're discussing um, about this, this chart in the present perfect, uh, how we can join uh, the word already and yet between them. Um, uh, the present perfect, as uh, we know, it is formed with the verb had plus the, the past participle. Uh, and talking about the past participle, we have an, uh, another activity, but we are going to develop later um, after I explain this. You remember the, the, the other activity that we had, right? About the past participle? No? The timbers? Yes, do you remember? Yes, no? Do you didn't take notes? Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes. Yes. Do you memorize the words? I think that I did better, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, we're going to see. We're going to um, uh, see that later. Uh, but oh. let just uh, I will explain uh, these things first. Okay. Um, we're discussing about this. How we can create uh, questions? Uh, in, or, or we can use the interrogative uh, form of the uh, present perfect. So uh, as we know. We use at the beginning have, then we use the subject, then we use the uh, very past participle. Then we can add, if we want, um, a complement to, to, to that uh, sentence. And at the end, we have always remembered to, to uh, include the question mark, okay? Here we have some contractions that are useful uh, for this kind, of, this kind of questions. Why? Because um, if we have this kind of question, we are always have short answer. Uh, previously, I was I was saying that in this in this type type of questions, we uh, the answer that we are going to receive are just yes or no. Um, but in in the case if if someone um, answer with a, an affirmative um, an affirmative uh, answer we're going to use the sentence in the affirmative form. Uh, for instance, the ones that we have here, yes, I have been to several, okay? Or the other examples that we have here, like yes, she's, in, she's writing one, and yes, he's uh, called twice this week. The examples like that, okay, in that way, we, th that is the structure how we are going to answer it. Uh, this yes has to be separated by the comma, you know, and, and later on we are going to, to add the affirmative sentence. Um, in the case of the negative sentences, we are going to do in the case of, of the answer that we are that we uh, give like uh, negative, we are going to use the same structure like uh, the ones that we're discussing, like like yes, like an affirmative. Um, but in this kind of question, what we have to do is just add the adverb not. Okay? That's the only thing that's going to change. No comma plus the sentence adding not. And 
uh, the verbs are going to be the same, must, must be in, in past participle, and also we can add the, uh, the complement. Uh, for these kind of things, uh, uh, as you see, we're using like haven't, hasn't, hasn't, so that, that are those constructions that we have uh, at the end of this slide. Uh, it depends how you want to use it. Okay, it, it's no uh, an specific um, way for this. Like for instance, we use like uh, cheese or, or if we use like hasn't um, it is the way that you do it. Um, in the next slide here, we're checking the uses of the uh, present perfect. Let me show you this, okay. The first one we are discussing that we use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continued uh, in the present. Okay, the, I, I remember that I explained that. I don't know if you remember it. Yes, no? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, and here we have the examples like, she has worked in the band for five years. When we add as a, as a complement for five years, that's mean the, uh, the activity that that person um, has been doing uh, during that time has, uh, hasn't finished, okay? Let's see the other use. Um, just give me a second and let me show you this. Okay. Here we have the other uses of a present perfect. Uh, the second one says when we make uh, when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Um, the example that we have here are like I had work hard this week. Okay, um, it has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. So, um, in this case, in in this type of uh, reference or we want to make reference uh, to those temporary uh, period of times uh, are going to be defined um, by the complement that we're going to add, like this week, like this year, like today. Why? Why uh, temporary? Because the, the, the period of time ha haven't uh, finished it yet. Uh, so for that reason, it, it is called temporary. Uh, and we are talking and we are going to add um, in, in this kind of in this kind of a structure uh, if we want a different period of time like this hour uh, like this night okay like um, well this week or this weekend we can out, we can add all those uh, period of time if we want the second use i mean the third use is uh, for repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. Uh, they have seen that film six times. That, that is the example that we have. So um, in the second example that we have here, it says we have eaten at that restaurant many times. Uh, if we notice there, when we add six times, that's mean that a uh, it is a uh, repetition, okay? Repetition of the activities that we are referring to. So how, how does it work? We want to make reference to the activity that we are doing right now, okay? Uh, we can use this type of uh, phrases like six times, like many times in order to let, in order to, um, uh, express to the other person that uh, we had been doing that activity uh, in different period of times, okay? But using um, the present perfect. Uh, we're going to do an activity with this, um, with, the, with these two type of uses of, of the present perfect. But uh, before doing that, I mean, um, we are not going to work in this yet, 
because we have uh, something to do. First, uh, we're going to work on um, the activity that I uh, that I remember that I, I, I'll let you know the previous class that was uh, the memorizing 10 birds, the homework that you have. And um, I don't know if there is any, I, I'm doing this activity right now because we're going to need it in the uh, other activity that we are going to do with these uh, uses of the present perfect, okay? So uh, we are going to start with a volunteer. If there is no a volunteer, I'm going to choose it. Okay. It's gonna be the first one. Teacher, please? can you please, can you repeat, please? I don't hear you. You don't hear? Um, I was asking for a volunteer in order to um, solve the, I mean, in order to um, it tell me the words that uh, you had for the homework uh, that I let, uh, that I leave you the previous class. You remember mm -hmm. on, on Friday. May I read it? <laughs> read it. <laughs> it's supposed that you must memorize it, but it's okay. Let, let me know what are those uh, verse that you have. Joe, I, I, I remember. See, saw, sing. Okay, what does it mean? In Spanish, do get done. Um, eh, tell, to, eh, to, ah, que se que significa en español. Yes, you must add in Spanish. Yes, to. El primero que le dije era. ¿Cuál le dije? No me acuerdo. Sí. Sí, ah, sí, ver, el verbo ver. Ok, the el other verbo one. Ver. <clears throat> eh, the other one was. Eh, um, está. Mistake. Mis, mistook, mistake. Es mm -hmm. equivocarse. Equivocar, mm -hmm. equivocarse. Equivocado. Mm -hmm. Este. Fight. Es pelear. Uh -huh. uh, fault y fault. Es pelear. O oh, sí, pelear. Pelea, peleado. Um, leave. Left. Y left. Eh, también es, el, es igual. Entonces, dejar. Dejar. No sé si abandonado también. Está también smell, smelt, smelt, es Ok, muy bien. Y ahí lo, lo que ya me sabía desde antes, draw, you, draw, oh, feel, okay. felt, eh, que feel es sentir. Eh, do, 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 es hacer. Okay. Swim, swam, swim. No, swim, swam, swim, nadar. Ok, muy bueno. good. Excelente. You, you, say... <laughs> you say more than 10. Ok, um, I seen that Miss García is raising her hand. Ok, so Miss, go ahead. And then is going to do it, Miss Piñate. Okay. Um, come, came, come. Uh, the meaning is venir, do, don, hacer, uh, freeze, froze, frozen, helar, um, 
ring, 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 eh, llamar, um, leave, left, left, dejar, um, forget, for God and forgotten, olvidar, okay. only that. Only that. Okay, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. Uh, Miss Piñate and then Miss Melgar. Okay, I saw that Miss Melgar was raising her hand. I don't know if, are you going to participate, Miss Melgar? Yes. Uh, well, let, okay, okay. You are going to participate okay. after, after Miss Piñate. Miss Piñate, so go ahead. Okay. Algunos ya me lo ganaron. Pero a ver, me acuerdo de otros. And for example, awake, awoke, o awoken, que es eh, despertar, ¿verdad? O, sí, despertarse. Um, keep, and kept, y kept, que es eh, mantener. Um, sí, creo que ya lo dijeron. Sí, so, and seen. And B, was, where, B. también eh, tenemos go, went, and gone, eh, by, both, and both, también it is it's the same in past participle, and shoes, eh, shows, and shows, que también es el igual en chosen, es en, en past participle. Shows, ok, shows. Uh -huh. Shoes, eh, shows. Shows es verdad, porque shows. suena como zapato. Ok, shows. Ajá, es que si digo shoes, suena como zapato. Ok. <ríe> so es shows, shows, and chosen. And break, broke, and broken. Uh, I forget how many. ¿Cuánto llevo? I didn't count it, but I think you have 10, 10 uh, words. Okay, okay. Okay, very good, excellent. <laughs> okay. excellent, excellent, very good. So, uh, Ms. Milgar, your next one. Yes, begin, begun, begun, comenzar, este, Eh, quiero ver. Do, did, done, eh, eh, hacer, eh, drive, drug, driving, eh, fall, sí, fall, fell, eh, fallen, fa fallen, fallen, caer, only this. Okay. I'm you finish. Okay, very good. Well, um, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, well, who's gonna be the next one? But but I prefer if you turn on the camera. Okay, try to do it. Uh, turning on your camera. Okay, who's gonna be the next one? Who's gonna be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, sir, go ahead. Uh, work, work at, work, es trabajar. Okay. Uh, uh, este, ya te viendo mencionar, forget. Forget, forgot, forgot. Okay. Olvidar. Eh, uh, speak it. Spoke. Eh, hablar. Only teacher. <laughs> Only that. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, sir. 
Uh, well, uh, as when we use, I don't know if someone else is going to participate. Someone else, because I was asking, and I think no one else wants to participate. Me, teacher. Oh, me. I, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. I'm trying, teacher. Just try. It. Don't me, worry. Me. Don't worry. Me. Conocer. Go when gone. Eh, ir. Eh, have, had, had. Tener. Feel, 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 sentir. Dream, dream, dream. Soñar. Dream, drunk, drunk, beber. Be, was, been. Ser. Only teacher. Eight. Okay, very yeah. good. Excellent, excellent. Don't worry. If you learn just two, it's okay. That's an advance in order to be learning more verbs and more verbs. Don't worry, okay? So, um, let's see. Someone else? If there is nobody else, and then I, I'm going to continue with the class. Um, as you notice, we have like three different uh, type of verbs, like presence that we have in the past and the past participle. How does it work those? Um, I will try to explain this <clears throat> in, in this way. Um, in the case of the present, we use it like for daily activities, things that um things that we uh you we we do commonly uh, like for instance i play the guitar i i uh, go to the to the cinema things that we do it like activities like that um I, i'm using I'm, I'm going to use regular and irregular verbs okay don't don't worry about that um but when we use the past and past participle that's a little bit complicated um because when we use the, the past, okay, we can conjugate the the the, the verb uh, like in, in simple past just in affirmative way. We're going to use it uh, there because uh, for the rest, we are going to use the auxiliary to create a pass, the past, the simple past. This case is like uh, um, he didn't do uh, his homework. If we notice he didn't, didn't is the auxiliary verb that's going to have a, as always the negative form and also that happened in the in draw. But, but I don't want you to talk about that. I want to focus in present perfect. Uh, in present perfect, we need, we need, sorry, an auxiliary, okay, always. Because if we don't use it, the sentence doesn't have a meaning. Cuando nosotros utilizamos eh, una oración, disculpen que se los explique en, en, en español, pero quiero, quiero como aclarar un punto ahí del presente este, perfecto. Cuando nosotros vamos a utilizar este, una oración en presente perfecto, siempre vamos a necesitar el auxiliar eh, have. Esto nos permite a nosotros poder eh, crear este tipo de oración. Se lo, le, le, eh, quiero poner este ejemplo en español eh, para que veamos cómo funciona también en inglés. Cuando yo digo, uh, eh, yo he comido, okay? yo he bebido, eh, ellos han estudiado, yo estoy haciendo uso del eh, presente perfecto. Okay? Ellos han estudiado. Ahora bien, si yo quiero utilizar una oración en pasado, en pasado simple, yo digo, ellos estudiaron. Yo ahí voy conjugando, ¿verdad? La, el, el verbo, pero este está en pasado. El pasado participio generalmente termina en, en ado, ¿ok? Eh, estudiado, caminado, ¿ok? Ensayado, eh, o también este puede terminar en ido como vestido, ¿okay? reído. 
Ahora bien, si yo intento utilizar este verbo en pasado participio en una oración sin hacer uso de un auxiliar, mi oración no tiene sentido. Yo no puedo decir eh, yo caminado, yo he estudiado, porque si la, la, la oración, al simplemente escucharla, pues no me está dando un contexto, no me está dando un sentido para yo comprender qué es lo que usted me quiere transmitir a mí. ¿Okay? Es por ello que cada vez que nosotros vayamos a utilizar un pasado participio, vamos a necesitar el uso del auxiliar had. Eh, aquí nosotros pues vamos a utilizar el had, este, ahorita lo estamos utilizando en el, en el este, presente perfecto, eh, pero también este, existe el auxiliar have en pasado y también existe en futuro. Esto lo vamos a ver más adelante en los, en los otros cursos. Me quiero enfocar ahorita en el presente perfecto. ¿Ok? Eh, el, en las conjugaciones que nosotros hacemos de los, de los pronombres, como yo he, ellos han, el a, en inglés, este, pues ya, ya conocemos nosotros que tenemos dos formas. ¿verdad? El, para el, este, primera persona, nosotros vamos a utilizar el have. Para segunda persona, nosotros vamos a utilizar el have. Para tercera persona singular, aquí es donde nosotros utilizamos el has. Y para tercera persona plural, aquí vamos a utilizar nosotros el have nuevamente. Ok, that, that's the only thing I want to explain in Spanish. In order that, in order that you can understand how does it work into Spanish. Ok, The same thing happened in, in English, okay? When, when, I want, when I'm trying to use uh, the past participle, uh, that word, okay, in a sentence, it doesn't um, make sense in my mind when, when, when you use a sentence with past participle, okay? If you say, like, uh, I arise in, okay? Doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It, 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 When someone listen, it says, "Oh, what's what's he saying?" Okay, because we don't we can understand the context of that sentence. So that's one of the reasons we need an auxiliary. That auxiliary, okay, the the have or has, we are always including these type of questions. In that way, I think we can make a little bit easier uh, to create sentences in um in, in I mean present perfect. Okay. So, continue with, continuing with um, the topic that, that, I mean, sorry, the slides that we left in the video. Let me show you something. Uh, you must create one sentences, I mean, one sentence um, using each of the, the uses for present perfect. The, the, the two the, the, that we have here, like when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, we are going to use that structure, the one that we are uh, seeing in the, in the video. And the other uses, it says that we use it for repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past, okay? So, um, are you ready to do that activity? Is it clear what I'm saying? You want me to explain the activity into Spanish or translate the activity into Spanish? Mm -hmm. um, teacher, I, I have a, a question. Okay, so uh, go ahead. The first The first, uh, I don't know, that is reason or the first way, okay? The first way when we use present uh, perfect is when we make a, a reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. This is the first one. The second oh. one, when, we, this is the second one, right? Yeah, that one is the second one. And the other one is the repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. But I'm asking you to create- This is the a, first form. Yeah, there, we have three. At the moment we have three. Mm -hmm. 
One of when we have a reference, the another one is when we, when a, we talk about repeated actions. And what's the first one, teacher? Okay, let me show you. I think that is in, in the last slide. This one, present perfect when uh, when actions that began in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the past. In okay. We create in one one tense for each one. For each one, yes. Okay. Perfect teacher. Thank following you. So following the structures, following the structures that we have here, the, like the examples that we have here. Thank you. After you finish. Um, you can send it to the WhatsApp group. Teacher, excuse okay. me. Tell me. I don't understand the activity. And you say that we send by the WhatsApp group. Okay. Sorry. I will. Don't worry, don't worry me, don't worry. Okay, uh, we're going to create one sentence per each use, okay? Um, the uses, uh, the uses that we have till this moment are three, okay? The first one is when we um, talk about actions that begin uh, in the past and continue to, uh, into the present, okay? The second use, is when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. And the third one is when we use it for repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. Those are the three uses that we have right now. We're going to create one sentence per each one. That means that at the end, we're going to send yes. three sentences to the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. The microphone. 
your microphone is off. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, let me know. And okay, uh, if I can say, uh, for example, my husband gone to visit her grandparents. The the verb but visit. Or, or, or I can use this super. No, you can use you can use uh visit but using the infinitive. When we use uh um for instance okay. the present oh. when we use the present perfect we can use uh like um like my, like the ones like the examples that, that you say my husband has, has gone has gone to visit. Has. We must add the to at ah. the beginning of the verb. Okay, in that way we are going to okay. make the, the, the verb into infinitive. If we don't use to, that means that that's not a, a, an infinitive uh, verb. Okay, but uh, my question is, uh, is it it's in, in base form? In the base form, in infinitive way. In we the base it... form, because I, I had used has and gone. In yes, exactly, person. exactly. Because the the main the main word there is have gone, okay. In this case, has gone. Okay, that's the main verb. But it, it, yeah. if you want to add like to complete the action, you need an infinitive verb. And the infinitive verb always always has the two at the beginning, like like in the very in the base yeah. form, but with the two at at the beginning. Like too busy, too worried, uh, too study. Okay. All those okay. are cool. Okay, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much.
Okay, I'm seeing that some of you are sending the sentences. And let me read some of them. Uh, the ones from, I mean, the ones of Miss Peñate. I will write, I will read just uh, some of you, okay? Uh, let's see. I work at Unikai since uh, 10 years, okay? That's period of time. Very good. They have been in my house for three days. Very good. Excellent. Uh, the other one from Miss Patricia. I have lived in La Paz for 24 years. Excellent. Very good. And Miss Iliana, let's see. Uh, he has played video games a lot this year. Excellent. Very good. I have studied for the exam. Excellent. And Mr. Jimmy. Okay. They, uh, I mean, we had. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Jimmy, I think you, you must you must um try to correct uh, two of the sentences like like in this case the number one and the number three, and the number two is okay. is a. Uh, let me see. Okay. In the number two, you have to make a change in order to 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 uh, make that sentence correct. You must write they have have. In that way, you are going to have it correct. Okay, they have worked last week. Very good, excellent, okay. Mister. Um, Rosa Maria, we have done so tonight. Very good, excellent. Um. Who is Lilita? Me. <laughs> okay, Miss Miss Ramirez. Okay, um, I'm checking your your sentences, and I think you forgot to use the auxiliary in the sentence number three. Try to correct. Haven't. Yeah, we mm. study. Okay. Try to correct mm. uh, that one. And mm -hmm. Adriana. Maybe I can help you, Miss. It's like we have study for the exam, and you cannot if you want this week. In order to add a, a period of time, uh, the other ones. Let me see. My father hasn't took the piano. Mm. Mm -hmm. In this one, okay. In the uh, Miss Adriana, are you there, Miss Melgar? Yes. Okay. In that one, in the ones that it says, uh, my father has sent took the piano, the verb took must be in um, in past participle. Like, uh, you can write it like taken. Taken. Okay. Yeah. Taken, teacher. Taken. What what do you want to say in that sentence? What do you want to eh, say in that? Eh, como que él nunca tiene nunca toca el piano. Padre nunca, ah, okay. Nunca in this case, okay, ah, okay, okay. In this case, eh, the the word the the correct word must be eh, played with ed at the end. Because play is when we, when play. we, okay, yes, when we uh, um, uh, use any instrument, like play the piano, play the guitar. Okay, I need to play change the only, only the, the verb, only the, 
Only the verb. Yes, only the verb. Must be played. My father has has not played the piano. Yes, exactly. That way. Okay. Thank you. The other one are correct. Uh, Jacqueline, my mother has bought vegetables for two weeks and we haven't seen her today. Okay, very good. Mm, who is Karu? Hi, teacher. Who? Ah, Miss, Miss Rodriguez. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, very good. You have. In this case, Miss, instead of uh, instead of using um, has, you must use the past participle of the word. In this case, the past participle of had is had with uh, H-A-D. Okay, try try just to look okay. for the past participle of those words and I think they are going to be okay. The second one is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So there we have uh, those examples. I, I was checking so quickly uh, those examples and checking some of them. And um, you, I, I think you get what uh, we want to construct there with those sentences. I don't know if you have any questions. Because uh, the time is is over, we have just three minutes, okay? But uh, I, I want to use it for uh, answering questions. I, I am seeing that you don't. Uh, when when I say, uh, "Hey guys, do you have questions?" You say, "No questions, no questions." But sometimes maybe we can have questions and we don't want to say it. Okay, I, I like if you uh, ask me about something, and that way I can explain. If you haven't understood uh, something. Questions? No, teacher. <laughs> I don't have any questions. Question. I don't have any questions. Okay, I'm seeing that some of you that 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 are so tired you want to go to sleep. Teacher, excuse Tell me. me. Mm -hmm. eh, el verbo participio, independientemente de si la oración es afirmativa, negativa o interrogativa, siempre va a ir en participio. No va a ser así como en las otras clases que el verbo cambiaba o quedaba en presente. Exactly. We, in, in this present perfect, in, the, in present perfect tense, uh, we don't change uh, the, the, the verb. We must use the past participle always in affirmative. Uh, we're going to use past participle in negative, And also we're going to use past participle in interrogative uh, sentences. Okay? In the true ones. Okay, I understand. Okay. Mr. Saldana, you have questions? I know how a question, teacher. Okay, sir. Okay, well, uh, that's been that's been all for tonight. And well, for some, for the ones that are going to sleep right now, uh, have a good night. Okay, and see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Again, okay, blessing for all of you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Good night. 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 Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.